Welcome back. Okay, um, so this is what it should look like. This here is the right side. So when it bowls out, when it bowled out, it should have bowled that way and not towards you. So this way you are working. You've got the wrong side inside the bowl and the right side outside the bowl. So this is what it should look like. And we should have 20. I didn't know if I told you, but we are doing the body of Charizard today. And I don't think I told you that, but I apologize. Um, so this is, we're doing the body. Um, so we are going to start um, on um, 21. And 21 is, we're going to start decreasing. So, I am going to show you an invisible decrease when we get there. It is my favorite decrease. Um, I learned that on one of my tutorials. Let's see. All right, so here we go. We're going to decrease after every eight. So we're going to count eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, in order to do the decrease, we're going to go in the front loop. So there's a back loop and a front loop. We're going to go in the front loop, and then we're going to go in the front loop of the next one as well. And we're going to pull that yarn through both the loops and then you got two loops and there you go there's your decrease um, so we're going to decrease after every eight so here we go the next one is eight two three four five six seven eight now, if you would like to, and you don't want to do the invisible decrease, you can decrease this way. And then go through all three, and that decreases them. Um, it kind of shows up, though. I like the invisible decrease better because you can't see the decrease. It is, it, that's why it's called an invisible decrease, of course. It's magic. <laughs> um, here we go. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now we're going to do a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to do a decrease. There you go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to do a decrease. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and that worked out really good because your last one is a decrease on your last one before you get back to the first one so we went from 60 to uh, 54 stitches so now we have 54 stitches so that was row 21 now 22 we're just going to single crochet around with those 54 stitches so here we go. I'm 
Now, we'll just cr crochet around here. So, you could uh, speed up the video if you don't want to watch me crochet around this. Or, um, if you are slower than I am, then you could pause the video until I get to the next round. It's up to you, however you want to do it. Here we go. I'm not I'm not used to uh, crocheting with the, the smaller hooks. I haven't crocheted with the smaller hooks in a long time. Um, the J hook is my favorite hook. So I'm clear down to a four and a half. The J hook is a six millimeter. I'm clear down to a four and a half and I'm not used to it. I guess I will get used to it. Um, all right, so there was uh, 21, uh, or no, 22. That was 22, 54 stitches. Now 23, we are going to decrease uh, down to 48 stitches. So we're going to decrease after every seven stitches this time. So here we go. All right, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now we're going to decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to decrease. Uh-oh, I lost my yarn again. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're decreasing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, decrease. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to decrease those last two. Perfect. Now, um, so we're down to 48 stitches, and in row 24, we're just going to single crochet around those stitches. So it's just going to be a single crochet in every stitch. Just one single crochet in every stitch. I get my stitch marker back in here. All right. So 
So we're just going to single crochet around here. One single crochet in every stitch. There we are, we're almost there. All right, so that was row 24. Okay, so row 25, we're going to decrease after every six. So we'll be decreasing down to 42 stitches. All right, so let's see. Put the first stitch in. Well, I might get it in there. All right, get the stitch marker back in there. All right, so every six. So there's two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to decrease the next two. All right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and decreasing the next two. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're decreasing. Perfect, perfect. All right. So um, that was 25, and we should have 42 stitches. And now 26, we are just going to single crochet in every one of those 42 stitches. So let's get the stitch marker in here. And we're going to decrease, I mean not decrease, we're just going to single crochet. <laughs> Jeez. We're just going to single crochet in every stitch around. Our Charizard is going to be big, I think. But he is just so cute. So, I thought I needed a, a Charizard for my studio. So, this I'm making this one for my studio. Because I like cute and adorable things. All right. 
right, we're coming up to the last few stitches here. All right, there we go. We got a great big bowl there, don't we? All right, so 20, that was 26. 27, we are going to decrease after every five stitches. And we're going to go from 42 stitches to 36 stitches now. We'll get the first one going here so we can get our stitch marker in there. Well, come on. All right. All right, so we've got two, three, four, five, and we're going to decrease the next two. One, two, three, four, five, and decrease the next two. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Decrease the next two. One, two, three, four. Five, and we're going to decrease the next two. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to decrease the next two. One, two, three, four, five and decrease the last two. Perfect. So now we're down to 36 stitches and on um, row number 28 we are going to just single crochet around those 36 stitches. Just one single crochet in each stitch. Here we go. 36 stitches. It's starting to look like a bag, isn't it? All right, so we are going to uh, decrease again on round 29. And we are going to decrease after every four stitches this time. We're going from 36 to 30. So let's get the first one going here. All 
All right, so here we go. There's two, three, four, four stitches, right? After every four. <laughs> Yeah, after every four. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to decrease the next two. And then we're going to start four again. One, two, three, four. And decrease the next two. One, two, three, four. And we're going to decrease the next two. One, two, three, four, and decrease. One, two, three, four, and decrease. One, two, three, four, and decrease. So we are down to 30 stitches now, and round 30, we are just going to crochet around 30 stitches. How about that? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's the first one. We'll get our stitch marker back in there. All right, and we are going to go around 30 stitches. Come on. Mm -hmm. There we go. 30 stitches, round 30 is complete. All right, so now we are going to decrease one more time down to 24 stitches. So we are going to decrease after every three, and we're going to go from 30 to 24. So here we go. Um, let's get the first stitch in here and put all right. So there's two, three, and we're going to decrease. One two, three, and we're going to decrease. One, 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 two, three, and we're going to decrease. And so that is 24 stitches. So now what we need to do is we need to start 
stuff, stuffing it. That is our next deal. Um, I have polyfill here. Um, I got some polyfill here. And also, I wanted to show you, I have a baggie, a big baggie of uh, bits of yarn that I, I keep <laughs> from all of my projects. And you can, like, use this to mix with that polyfill. So this is the reason why I keep it. So then I'll use this yarn here to mix with the polyfill. And I kind of, kind of try to ball it up in the middle. And then throw it inside there. And put some more polyfill in there. Now, when you're stuffing your amigurumis, you do not want to overstuff them um, because, I mean, you want to put enough in, but you don't want to overstuff it because then you'll start seeing the stuffing through the stitches. But we kind of want to put enough in there. Just enough in there just to fill it in and make it look good. There we go. And as I go further, I'm going to have to probably put more in there too, but there we go. So now um, the next 10 rows uh, from um, 20, 32 to 41, we will be just crocheting one in each stitch all the way around. We are at 24 stitches. So you're just going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for 10 rows. And I am not going to be boring you for 10 rows, so I'm going to let you go to do your 10 rows. And when we come back, we will have 41 rows done. So I will see you then.